Maybe intelligence and consciousness is not something mysterious that can only exist in meat blobs, but actually <laughs> maybe it's all about information processing. We now know that you know, it only takes two gigabytes to store your entire DNA code, you know, like a typical movie download, that's not no big deal. And it takes about 100 terabytes to store all the information in your brain. So if it's really the information processing that's, that ma matters only, well, what, why do we need to have it done in meat blobs? Ray Kurzweil, for example, would love to upload himself into a robot before his biological body gets too old so he can keep living on. Um, is this science or science fiction? As a physicist, I'm, I'm a blob of quarks and electrons. That's, there's no doubt about that, and there's nothing special about my quarks. They're the same kind of up quarks and down quarks that make up the, my, the chair and everything else in here. So it, it's, it's absolutely possible. Are we going to figure out how to do it in our lifetime? I think it's actually going to be much harder to figure out how our brain does intelligence than it's going to be to build artificial intelligence and can do all those same things. Just like it turned out to be much harder to figure out how to build a mechanical bird than to build an airplane. If you've seen the TED talk of the mechanical bird, now it's great, but it took 100 years longer than the, the Wright brothers. And if, if we succeed in building artificial general intelligence, even super intelligence, you know, if that actually happens in 30 years, you're still young and healthy because you keep going to the gym, right? Then there's no particular reason why one couldn't use that technology to figure out how to do uploading and all, all these other things that, that we want to do. And, um, just a little word of warning, you, 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 you um, <coughs> define consciousness there as self, as a model of self. I, I like more the definition of consciousness that David Chalmers here at NYU gives as simply subjective experience. You know, I experience now when I drive, you know, colors and sounds and so on and motions, but I don't know if, if a self-driving car experiences anything. And before you upload yourself, or after you've uploaded yourself into this robot, you know, the robo Christina that looks <laughs> like you and talks like you, before you switch on your, off your biological bo body, I think you should make sure that you understand whether it's actually having a subjective experience or is just a mindless zombie mm. talking and acting like you. Because in the latter case, it would be kind of a bummer if you switch yourself off because yeah. <laughs> that's it, you know. And, and um, I, th I'm, I think uh, this is a f great challenge f for scientists to try to mm -hmm. figure out, ultimately, which yeah. information processing feels conscious. Mm -hmm.